Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I'll share with you a devotion entitled "Control or Controlled." Romans eight fourteen says, "For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God." A well-known truism says, "You can't control what you can't control." As obvious as this platitude is, it is still ignored. By many people, based on the amount of worrying we do, and most of what we worry about is beyond our control. What we can control is actually very limited in scope compared to what we can control. Our biggest temptation in life is to control, or at the least, or the very least, change. Other people, we allow the words and actions of others to cause us undue stress. When in fact, what others say or do is not really under our control. The best way to handle who and what we can't control is to live a life under the control of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So when we are led by the Spirit of God, we are led by One who loves us and provides for us in every situation, and One who allows us to manifest love and other virtues in every situation. Galatians five twenty two and twenty three says, "But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives." Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things, meaning there is no conflict with the Jewish laws. Don't don't spend the day worrying about what you can't control. Instead, you to the control of the Holy Spirit in your life, in all that you are going through. In all that you are facing, especially when you're not happy with circumstances and situation of life, you're not happy with certain people in your life. Let him, let God, let the Holy Spirit guide you and equip you for every circumstance in life. Amen. You learn to you when you can't control. Learn to you to the Spirit of God, and He will guide you through. Amen. Augustine says, "Man is most free when controlled by God alone." One more time, man is most free when controlled by God alone. Amen. You have a great day, and God bless you, Father. Bless the people. A great day in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings.